Hello friends, welcome back to Dark Souls 2. I am Sarah Stampede, and today we are going to adventure deeper into the Lost Bastille. Uh, we had a really great fight against the Pursuer, and I'm sure that's the last I will ever see of him. There's no way that he will ever be showing back up. So, uh, now that we've got that taken care of, uh, we also picked up this uh, fragrant branch that apparently turns stone statue people into real people. And uh, so I think the very next thing we need to do is journey right back on over here. No, that's the wrong one, buddy. There we go. We need to journey back right on over here, and we need to do something about this statue guy. Now, full interest of disclosure here. It has been about a week since I played this game. Uh, I took a week's vacation and uh, went up north for a bit. Had a really great, uh, great time. Uh, so basically, everything uh, through the last episode, episode twelve, there of this playthrough was kind of queued up before I left. Uh, so if you notice a steep drop in my ability to play this game between here and there. That's what you're picking up on. Luckily though, it doesn't seem like it's doing too bad. Oh, he was gonna throw a fireball at me. No sir! Denied! All right, now, I believe this branch is single use, so let's not mess this up. Let's go right on down here. Where's the funny branch thing? Here we are. Restores living things from petrification. Uh, where are we here? Okay, a fragrant tree branch with a faint sweet smell. Restores life to things turned to stone. Extended inhalation of the branch's scent can lead to coughing and nausea. All right, so don't smoke too much of that. Gotcha. All right. And here we are. Okay, well, it doesn't look like we can use it. Oh, okay, it's just going to be a toggle option for us here. Yeah, we're going to use it. Doodly dude, are are you okay? Are you Oh, you're like an enemy now. Alright. Sorry, man. I tried. I tried to be nice to you. Okay. More of these guys. That's fine. Come on out, march to your death. I have things figured out now, so you will all die. There we are. Did you drop something? No, okay. I can never tell with those messages on the floor. Oh my goddess. Why? Why though, guys? Okay, okay, okay. Are you guys done now, or what? That was obnoxious. Anybody else? Seriously? Oh, that looks like a huge trap. Of course, then I think everything in this game is a trap. Be wary of ambush. Okay, I think we just cleared out the ambush, honestly. Oh, no. No, we didn't. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Look both ways before crossing the street. Don't swing a halberd around, uh... Big explosive barrels, and pull all levers when you see them. Oh, 
Oh, where are you going? Stop that. Stop that. You come back here this instant. Where do you think you're going? Oh. There's a fog gate over there. Well, where is he going? Gotcha. All right, good. All right, game. Well, I've had just about enough of these guys, so uh, no more then, huh? Okay. All right, what do we have here? We have a big long ladder leading down to an item. And a guy. I think I can... Just like that. All right, well, this door is not going to open. This, I'm presuming this leads down into that. Oh no, this is a little lower than. What are you? Are you friendly? I mean, ordinarily I'd think I'd be able to talk to you. I don't know, I mean, you're just kind of chilling out there. You don't seem to be hurting anybody. And that's all right. You also look a bit like the guy that I turned from stone. He was having a bad day. Oh, I think I recognize where this is. Yeah, so up there is that ledge that I was like, hey, if I roll off there, that looks like a closed door. All right. Think carefully, man. I don't know what they're getting out there. Is this another one of those like hidden hollows that's just gonna be chilling out there? Hmm. See now that's gonna have me second guessing literally everything. Alright. Alright, this isn't too bad. Wait a minute, what's this here? Okay, just more wall. All right, I think we opened a shortcut. I mean, it says trap ahead, but I prefer to look at it the other way. So, I don't know what this guy's got. All right, you know what? This is probably a mistake, but I'm gonna kill him. Hurrah for rolling! Oh, well, I probably didn't have to kill him, did I? I always forget you can do that. Alright. Okay, we've successfully explored. Killed a bunch of dudes. Oh god, guys, fog gate. What am I going to do about this? It's like a little prison area? Well, yeah, I mean, I guess it's a Bastille, so... Radiant life gem. Interesting. 
I'm assuming none of these will open. Be wary of Trio. Trio! That was very emphatic. So... I wonder if this is a boss. And if it is, Lucatiel, Lucatiel, I think she said her name was, said that she would lend me her sword. So I think what I'm going to do, use one of these little wonderful effigies here. And I'm going to look for Lucatiel's summon sign. No? Not here? Oh, maybe here? Oh, that's just a guy. Huh. Well, I'm a little bit disappointed. I thought Lucatiel's summon sign would be here. Is it out here, maybe? No. Oh, it's just a heavy armor knight guy. Alright. Well, what the hell. Let's give the old college a try. Okay. Oh, that hurt a lot. Nope. Okay. Wow. These guys are violent. But I'm gonna have to kill them. I'm the only one allowed to spin with pole arms. Spin to win only works one way there, gentlemen. It works my way. that there were a bit more of a shortcut. <laughs> oh, he did not grow on me. That's cool. Oh, whoops. Hi. Okay, yeah. Oh, and he can fit through that door. He looked entirely too large to fit through that door. I call foul. Nope, it's fine. It's fine. Every so and then we get a little bit too big for our britches. A little bit too big for our britches and we need to just get, get, get our butt kicked a little bit. Get reminded that this is still Dark Souls. I can still die at any time. That's actually fine. Oh, come on, guys. Alright, 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 alright. That's fine. They did kind of make these trio dudes really difficult to get to quickly, though. That's... Or did they? Wait, no. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to try something. I saw it in a cartoon once, but I think I can make it work.
So instead, we run this way. We look over this edge. And maybe we... Die. Okay. <clears throat> to be fair, I think I was onto something there. I'm going to try it again. I'm going to try it again, and we'll make it work. Stiff upper lip and all that. All right. I just have the feeling I'm going to get to that point where I've killed these guys enough that uh... No! That was not what I wanted to do. I hit the... That's what I was trying to do. Twilight Herb? Do I have one of those? Green Blossom... What around here looks like a twilight herb? Herb, 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 herb. Amber herb. Oh, there it is. Twilight orb. Restore spell use. Okay. I can dig it. You know, maybe instead. Oh. Invaded, okay. Where is he? Who is he? That's fine. If he wants to chase me like that, then he can chase me. I, however, refuse to fight him. Oh, I think that was him right there. Oh, shit. Dodge, dodge! Come on, we got each other. That sucks. Oh, well, that's okay. I don't I don't know that I could have even gone to the boss without having to, to deal with uh with the invader dude. But the good news is, okay, so that run, you know, you always want to learn something when you die in Dark Souls. You always want to learn something. So what we learned there was that that shortcut actually works. And it actually gets you through a remarkable amount of these swordsmen. So, I don't know about you, but I'm happy with the outcome there. Working as intended. Get 360 no scoped. All right. And a little bit of mist. So that only works if you do not suck at using joysticks. So here's the other thing I'm wondering. Is this easier from the other bonfire?
I think that it is, though I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried this guy's gonna drop a flaming barrel on me or something. So this is apparently a hot PvP spot. Great. Because getting through this was not difficult enough. Without red phantoms. I really wish that I had a few more... few more effigies because honestly this is going to be really difficult to do it's going to be really difficult to do if people can continuously in insist on invading me Yeah, I'm not liking that at all. I really wish that they had kept the... I really wish that they, that they kept the requirement for, um, for being human instead of just being able to invade any old person. Because PvP is really something that I, I actually don't enjoy in this game. I, I, I kind of just want to play through it as a PvE experience. There's a part of me that kind of wants to just plug pull and... Play offline. Oh. Okay, I'll just die on the first enemy, that's fine. It's gonna be another one of those episodes, friends. It's gonna be another one of those episodes. We made a little bit of progress, and now suddenly we can't make any progress at all. And we are just gonna slowly go hollow, I think. I mean, we did it once. We know it's po- Oh, we landed on top of the door this time. We know it's possible. I just really don't want to go through 27 different swordsmen all swinging at me at the same time. That just- It was so much easier when I was- when I was able to get that, but... It also seems like it's kind of a skill shot, so I'm not sure which is worth it. And of course, I'm mostly hollow now anyways, so... <sighs> Man, landed on top of the door again.
Well, other than making it to that boss, that damnable trio, I'm not really sure what we've accomplished here. We've uh, encountered a couple phantoms who we didn't even really get the chance to fight. And we've fallen off a cliff repeatedly. So I suppose the good news at this point is that I don't think we can get more hollow than we are. Nope. We've already hit that mystical 50% point. And it just doesn't get any worse from here. I'm going to give this one more try, then we're just going to take the front door, because... Honestly. If it's going to be that difficult to get through, uh... To get through that shortcut, then I'm not sure it's going to be worth it. Yeah, just hand him a barrel and let him do himself in. There we go. See? I'm a pro. I'm an actual pro. And that's what I get. That's what I get for rolling. That's what I get for saving your life and pulling you out of a cage. I get killed. Fine. Fine. No, no, it's fine. Oh, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. See if I ever let you out of a cage again, though. You're supposed to die. Thank you. Line it up and miss it again. Alright, folks. Well, I think we're going to call it right there. I think you've seen me die enough for one day. Uh, next time, we will be making our way to the dynamic trio. Again, that's uh, something I, I, don't, I didn't really look at their, their name. Um, so we'll be uh, plugging further on there. Hopefully, uh, we'll be making a little bit more progress. But thanks for sticking with me. Don't forget to love each other and take it easy.